It is 939. We appreciate you watching live at 9 on this Tuesday morning. If you love seafood, nothing beats fresh shrimp. But making shrimp scampy at home may sound a bit intimidating. Chef Franco Cotaldo always keeps it simple from his test kitchen in Collierville. Good morning, Franco. You believe in five ingredients, but can you really do that with shrimp scampy? Yeah, so I'm going to do six. Don't don't get me in trouble with it. It's going to be six <laughs> ingredients. But it's just as simple as that, though, so it's okay. And, and by the way, shrimp scampi. I think I, I put on the uh, recipe, it's the dish so nice that they named it twice. Scampi is essentially shrimp, okay? Shrimp, uh, actually in, in Italy, scampi is a sort of a small lobster, but it's used sort of interchangeably. And so when you call it shrimp scampi, it's uh, shrimp for shrimp. <laughs> so. We're going to do it this way, though, because uh, it, it, the uh, Americans expect it this way. So what I did initially was to uh, saute or was to marinate this shrimp, and you got to marinate it for at least 30 minutes, maybe an hour, in your cooler. All it is is olive oil, garlic, and salt. That's it. Then you cook it. It's sort of a half-cooked type scenario. Once it's cooked, pull it out, stop, and now we're going to add these other ingredients. We're going to put some butter in there. We're going to put the shrimp back in there. Look at this. Now, we don't want to burn this butter, right? We don't want it to be brown. Think in terms of lobster, right? What are you going to do with lobster? You're going to dip it in a little bit of butter. It's not brown butter, right? It's okay. sort of this nice and warm butter, right? That's what we're looking for. So, we're going to so add a little bit of... So, Franco, right. what temperature are we talking, like medium on the stovetop? Yeah, low medium. When you do it initially for the shrimp, we want to make sure that it's sort of mostly cooked, like kind of partially cooked. We're going to add a little bit of sparkle to this, which is crushed red pepper. Little, again, you have your salt, your olive oil, and your garlic. And now, look how beautiful this is. Is this not gorgeous? How do I that, know when my shrimp is just add. partially cooked? Because I don't want tough shrimp. And I always Go by the feel. Cooked. Go by the feel. Right here, go by the feel. Okay. As long as it's sort of nice and firm, you've got it all done, right? So you're looking good. We've added our olive oil. We Now, look at this. We're going to add the juice of a full, whole lemon to this. You know me with lemon. Lemon, look. Lemon goes with everything. Pinch of salt. I've already got a little sparkle into this thing. But now, you see what I'm trying to accomplish here? Look at this. Look at this dish. Now, what's going to go better? With this dish, by the way, it's finished. We'll add a little rebet be here, like this. What's going to go better with this dish? And if I put this in this plate like this, stay with me, stay with me. And we're going to pull out some fresh baked bread. Oh. So no pasta. Now, this bread, no pasta. You don't have to have pasta to get a bread with it, though. Chris was telling me too that the. Uh, this would make a perfect pole boy. It would. You know, look at this. You got your butter in this. Look at this beautiful bread. Now, how do we tell if it's stuck? Hollow inside. Oh. Look at this. Nice big chunk of bread. You're in business here. Okay. I'm going to try this. Wow, that's. You mind a... if I eat this on air? No. Well, you know what? I'm I'm here and you're there, like 20 miles away. So can I stop you? No, I cannot. <laughs> oh my. Here, I can. Come here. I Take can be time. very envious, which I am. Franco, thank you so much. Franco's Italy dot. Stab me, I ate it. Stab me. Oh, it's so good. Okay, we're gonna call it like shrimp it. shrimp from now 